Following a week off since their last game, the UMass Lowell men's basketball team returns to the hardwood for three games in six days. Assistant coach Nick Leonardelli says the break has been good for the Riverhawks, who have kept the focus on themselves. So it's been good we haven't played since last Wednesday against Albany, so this is the one time of the year in league play where we're able to have seven days to really hone in on us and work on, on things that are important to us. Uh, sometimes when you play a bunch of games in a short period of time, you end up spending time on game prep and rest and just, just getting some shots up and getting guys ready to go that you aren't able to work on your stuff as much as you'd like. So we've been able to do that a bunch in the last week. Obviously you don't change too much this time of the year, you're just trying to make some smaller adjustments that really help you get an advantage. Um, assess some of the things that gave you difficulty, you're able to watch the game film, watch a couple of the games that they've played recently. Um, and try to make some adjustments based on that. The Riverhawks start the stretch on the road in Hartford against the Hawks squad who they beat 80-76 to in their America East opener. The matchup is sure to be an up and down high scoring affair which features the AE's top two teams in May three-pointers. The big thing with Hartford is it's going to be hopefully it's going to be a good game again. Uh, they really shoot the ball well from three, they play fast, they'll play four or five guards at one time. Um, so pretty, it should be a pretty, two pretty similar teams. The, the style of play that, that's been best for us this year is to play pretty fast and play up tempo and to get into a rhythm and, and get good ball movement. Uh, when the ball is moving, we, we seem to be at our best and um, the guys are able to kind of make the next play and, and uh, we're, we're very unselfish when the ball is moving and, and things are really flying around and a lot of guys are able to find shots that, that work for them. Following two days off, the Riverhawks will host Stony Brook at home where four of their seven wins have come this season. The Seawolves, who as of Wednesday sit atop the America East standings with a perfect 8-0 conference record, will challenge the Riverhawks with their size along the front court, which is headlined by Jameel Warney. Stony Brook's a little bit different team in the sense that they're very big and they really like to throw the ball inside a ton. Um, obviously with Jameel Warney, Rayshon McGrew, um, they have a, a, a very tough front court. Um, they're also good in the backcourt too with Carson Purefoy and some of their other guys that are, are very talented too. So. Um, you know, big things to be playing against post defense and, and trying to keep the ball out inside. So, a little bit of a different game playing against them than some of the other teams. Um, but right now, it's just we're, we're thinking about Hartford, and and then after uh, the game on Wednesday and Thursday, we'll kind of start thinking about Stony Brook. The Riverhawks will tip off from Hartford at 7 p.m. Wednesday night. That game can be viewed on ESPN3. Saturday's matinee against the Seawolves starts at 2 p.m., while Monday's matchup against Vermont begins at 7 p.m. Those games can be seen on AmericaEast.tv, while all three matchups can be heard on the Riverhawk Network.